We turn now to Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut. He has called this report on this alleged sharing of highly classified information astonishing and appalling. Senator Blumenthal, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good to be with you. Thank you. Well, I'll ask you to react to what President Trump has said so far this morning. And, and as far as you understand it, if this Washington Post story is true, has the president jeopardized national security? In the opinion of many intel intelligence community members, there is a jeopardy to our national security because the disclosure about this laptop plot, including the city, where it was detected in ISIS territory could jeopardize lives of sources. And it also threatens our credibility in dealing with partners and allies who provide extraordinarily valuable and sensitive information. There may be no law broken, but the rules and norms have clearly been crossed here. And the White House and the President owe the American people and the Congress a full well, explanation. Senator, you're a lawyer. You're used to having a critical eye when it comes to wording. So you know the accusations and now the denial coming from the administration and the person of H.R. McMaster said this. It didn't happen. Quote, at no time were intelligence sources or methods discussed and the president did not disclose any military operations that were not already publicly known. Is that the same thing as saying the president did not disclose highly classified intelligence? No, very important question. He may well have disclosed highly classified information. Code word information is what the Washington Post reported, and that is a serious breach of norms and rules, and may well enable the Russians, who are our adversaries in that part of the world, to trace sources and methods of information. If certain information is disclosed and it can come from only a small number of sources, they can be narrowed down and identified. And that's one of the real threats here. In addition to revealing that we have knowledge about a plot that seriously could endanger our own citizens who are flying planes and possibly jeopardized by these laptop computers. And Senator, I'm sure you've read this Post report rather carefully and there's an intriguing line where it refers to a transcript of this conversation. Does that suggest to you that there perhaps was some kind of recording device in the Oval Office, some kind of stenographer? And if there is a transcript, is it something that Congress can and should get its hands on? The Congress must subpoena transcripts and tapes. Whether they exist or not, the only way to know reliably whether there are such transcripts or tapes is to issue a subpoena, probably from the intelligence committees, and make sure that all of the evidence is provided to the appropriate members of Congress. Mm. And that is because those transcripts would reveal whether or not classified information has been shared with the Russians. Senator Richard Blumenthal on a busy day in Washington. Thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.